Back to 30 Minute Valheim with Cody. This is Cody and a troll just sort of saved me. Okay, it's the boat's okay. Uh, alright. Time to use motor and get the heck out of here. Wow. Alright, so I got stuck on a freaking rock in the last episode. Tried to dislodge it myself. Did not work. Troll came over and basically just smashed the rock with one hit, and that was wonderful. Sometimes they're your friend. And he wasn't done, he was trying to come after me, so I kind of had to finish his life, you know. Kill him, make him not live anymore. Let's try not to have that happen again, will ya? boat's not doing that well, but it's still got half its health. Should be plenty to get us back home as long as I don't run aground several times. We're not far, you know, we're here at the meadows. Familiar land, familiar territory. It wasn't a long boating ride at all, really. Probably would have taken me much longer to try to go through that narrow channel. Yo! Without having a carve. Okay, fish, fish. Full of rocks. Add the land. A little shallow through here. That's it. All right, home sweet home. Here we go. Start the landmass here. I've overshot it before. All right, here we go. Myself some space. There's nothing there. Well, what a mystery. Oh, here it is. Uh, to the side of it. Oops, that kind of hurt. Alright. I mean, that probably would have been an okay place to stop. I just kind of like... Yeah, a little bit over here. There we go. Ah. <laughs> That's what I wanted. There. Okay. Prepare some of this stuff I've been messing up over time, including my boat for now. Oh, that was kind of silly because I'm going to take my boat apart later. Oh, well. Grab all the stuff that I can. I'm gonna have full bags here. Come back later. Uh, and trudge it up the stairs. Stop it! <laughs> Stopping to randomly fight the wind. Wasting stamina. Hot tub has staying power. Yeah, I want that column over there. It's kind of a fun thing, the little columns. Uh, okay. We'll go back and get the rest from the boat.
Is she? Hmm. Little bags. Let's go ahead and run everything in here. Fishy in the top shelf. Okay, good. A few gray dwarf eyes, wolf meat, everything else goes downstairs, and I've got room for the I think rest of the stuff over here. Let's go take a look. How about leave? Okay, yep. Trudge up the stairs. This is food, right? Nope, it all goes downstairs. Go ahead and start smelting the silver. Okay. The rest of the way. Oops, don't really have space. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> running out of space for things again. Alright, uh, stones, wood. Oh, <laughs> so painful running out of things. Okay. Yeah. Um, Alright, so we need another rack. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. That doesn't really belong here. These don't really belong here. Let's put this away here along with you. Now I can kind of resort these a little bit. There we go. Sure. Okay, for now, that looks okay. Oh boy. So much troll fur. Woo! So we are getting completely full here. It's time to make another rack. Uh, let's do one here and there. I guess we could go over here. Let's see. What fits this kind of thing? So this is like weapons. Gear. <laughs> I can demonstrate it. Yeah, it's gear. It's just metal. Alright. Man. Ah. Okay. I think I can get it there if I just get it just right. What's it wanting? Okay, I guess I need to put another... Yeah. Will that work? Yeah, I get it right. What a weird angle. Alright. There we go. Sparkly stuff. set into the wall. Uh, and not satisfied. Fine. I'll put deer leather way on the top. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put the deer leather here for now. Reorganize it to be perfect later. You look like this stuff. Mm -hmm. And wood is similar to this because it turns into this. It's melting. Oh, 
but it's nighttime, so how about we just be sleeping? That was a wild day. The troll smashing the uh, boat on the rock is going to be one of my highlights. So we've got silver now, which means we can make a wisp light. Get more silver going as well. Frostner. Put that away and I'm going to grab it right back again. And uh, these little things. See, wisp light. I'll go ahead and make another one. Leave it in the near the gearbox. Okay, so we have something if we die. And this is the wisp light. So it is all about just making mist in the mist lands kind of part a bit. It's not perfect. Kind of have to go slow. Wait, whoa, wrong bucket. Kind of have to go slow, let the mist catch up with you. Yep, da 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 da. And of course, you can't wear the uh, belt while you have it, so it's sort of a sort of a thing there. But you build the uh, wisp torches, and I guess like yeah, that's where all of the things that go into mist lands I get a lot of it needs black marble and I guess until I find black marble I'm kind of blocked on so a lot of things and then there's a whole other set of things I haven't done I've never had a black forge I've never done the whole uh, never got magic going so a lot of things for me to discover new all right now the food I've got is insufficient on health I think for what I'd want for the mislins. Lox meat pie is great. Want good stamina. From there, I guess, it's just a trade off on. Well, a trade off on the health versus stamina. So to get more health, I would need the tacos. Split these fishies. Okay, I put a little level two fish there, so they turned out quite a bit of fish. Really, just need the five fish for now. Let's go ahead and do these four too. I think I already have some, yep, rolled barley. Hmm, need that wood. I think I have anything here. Oh, I do. And a fish. Oh, more wood. Cool. I don't need wood for these. Didn't go in the oven. One fish. Alright. Yep, make some fish wraps. Five of them I should be able to make.
Okay, so we got two, 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 and two. I don't know, I guess I can sort of make a decision while I'm over there. Leaving wood. I made it home. Mm-mm-mm. All right, so we got a couple of options to go digging around in the Mistlands. One that's a little bit closer it is to something like Black Forest, the better. This is plains near it. Mountains there near it. Swamp. Oh yeah, there's mislins here and there's plains I think around it around this part. Okay. I remember this, I just this was part that where the system crashed somehow. We stored to an earlier save. Had an auto save then I hadn't logged out. Not too long ago. At least in my memory. Many episodes because I do several of these in a day sometimes. Yeah, that's interesting here, huh? Something tells me there would be a misland somewhere not too far from this. Can't remember. Both Plains 3 and Mountain 4 are sort of close to there. And I've got a at least one fire? Alright. You're really just trying to think of a strategy now. Kind of curious about what's up over here. And it does make me think I want to bring a portal with me. But as close to the mist lens as I can. I got lucky in one place and I found a black forest right by Mistlands. Well, that's really what I want. I don't have any idea what made me turn back there. Or what I was looking for over here. I think it was just, I was looking for Yagluth and didn't need forest. I don't know if I stopped going south because I saw mist or what. I didn't mark mist. I mean, there's no harm in finding a plains on the edge of the mist, I guess. We'll do that just fine. So that is what we'll do. All right. Now, I think I've got everything else I need for a portal. And a lot of Sertling cores from earlier. Oh, I'm real close to Frostner now. Probably just going to at least stick around and finish that. 20 silver and you know, maybe there's some other things I've needed silver for and just forgot while I'm working on other things. Oh I just put iron in. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna hurry that up. No need to wait for that whole thing. Oh, I lost coal. Ah, ah, you're the one recessed in the wall. Close to the John Lovitz. I hate it when that happens. Sketch. I used to love that as a kid. I don't know if I really like that now. Kind of a dumb sketch. <laughs> dumb. Oh, 
Okay, guess I'm doing the smallest of redecorations. But I might need some stamina. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for that one more silver. Yeah, there's nothing really I'm missing from all of this. I definitely need, I like to move, move jute. Make some prettier things. Portal parts. Alright. That was what I need for the Frostner in addition to something something. Alright. Frostner. Freeze clans. Ah, uh, 30. Yeah, alright. That makes sense. All right, well, they're on their way. Let's just kind of get the rest of this stuff kind of prepared. Gray dwarf eyes. Yeah, there's my portal. Ah, I guess also uh, wood. But I don't have a lot now. Eight. <laughs> All right. I like to have the workbench and uh, enough for a shelter would be nice too. What are we doing? Chop some wood. Running low on all the staminas. I don't want to go in there with Frostner. I've heard it's kind of a useful thing to be able to slow down those dudes. Uh, I think I'm going to wait and go to on a full day. Uh, oh, got some stones here I haven't picked up in a while. Bump, 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 bump. Stones away. Ugh. <laughs> Why? Hey. Go get more stones. <laughs> oh, this is so silly to me. We have the stones in the ground and we need to take them and we need to put them up here. Uh, so that way when I attempt to get them again, they fall back down on the ground. Let's just put them here. That'd be cool. And why not? That'll stop an enemy for a little while, right? Sure. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, what? The elder for some wood? Okay. That's what I did. What else do I have? Anything? All right. Onion, bread, and blood pudding. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Gonna go run around the area and cut some trees down. It's been a little while. A little further out. Just 
going to continue this single direction of cutting trees. I don't want to go too far. All right. Yeah, so start from up here. At the intersection of these trails. And here we go. All right, the rest of this episode is tree cutting. Five minutes of Elder and five little under five minutes in the episode when that started. I'm gonna do half the cutting for me. It's Runny Ham. He stopped running. He's just standing here. Aww. I need to go get a barnacle and come back and get Runny Ham before something else kills him. I'm gonna lose some raspberries this way. Are there any down there? Nope. I'm not going to cut these though. That's too close. Yeah, it'd be nice to kind of have a view of the various things that might be attacking me later. Plenty of wood for a little while again now. I go through these from time to time. And I'll just stack the wood out near where uh, the charcoal can is. Build a bucket for it out there or whatever. I don't know. Or even build another bucket for it inside. There's so many things. I'll do both of those things. Thinking about one of the, uh, I was watching one of the speedrunning videos, and the way that they like use the hammer to trap deer in the early game when they don't really have the stuff. I thought that's kind of neat. Other tricks like using fire to take out the deer and stuff. You know, it's kind of fun. Maybe I can use that on a group server that has the start day where you really kind of want to get somewhat of an advantage. I really would just want to make a home for him there. Might come back and do that. I really like that he's just kind of running him. He's just sitting there. It's kind of like, sweet, you're still alive. That means my two stars somewhere, probably. Here across the map, I assume, because I think they go back to their starting location, and that's kind of what the running thing is about. Just keep going till they find it, and then they'll stop. Well, it was kind of cool to experience that, and that's the end of 30 minutes. I got a lot of wood. More to come. Bye bye.